Hi, and welcome to another episode of Hot Takes with me, the Silver Fox. There's a hell of a lot of stories to get through today. I don't know where to start, so I'm just going to plough through them. But this first one is one that I think um, highlights a very big problem within the SNP. Uh, there is a term called stolen glory. Uh, it often refers to people wearing medals, uh, you know, sort of military medals to which they're not entitled. But it also is taking credit for other people's work. And boy, do we have a case of that here. Because Shona Robinson is boasting and taking the credit for the fact that Scots today, working Scots, only workers now, will pay less in taxes and have let fewer deductions than a year ago. Only people earning more than £100,000 will be paying more in tax and national insurance today than they will a year ago. And that sounds all very, very fine and pleasant until you realise the truth. And the truth is that it's got nothing to do with them and everything to do with the fact that Jeremy Hunt is about to cut national insurance by 2%. They are the ones putting the taxes up and then taking the credit that you're paying less in tax because Jeremy Hunt is taking 2% off national insurance. It's a joke. Here goes. Now, aside from what I was saying, there is also the fact that Stephen Flynn last night begging, begging Hunt not to deduct the 2% national insurance cut from Scots. He says, no, no, we want the Scots to keep paying it. We want them to be poorer. We don't want that national insurance reduced for Scots. Meanwhile, Shona, as we see here, is taking the credit for the 2% cut. This is a party riven in half by the fact that it's all morons at the top, isn't it? No one knows what the other one's thinking. No one knows what the policy is. And so you've got Flynn saying... Oh, please don't take this 2% off. And Shona Robinson saying, oh, well, I'm going to take the credit for the 2% coming off. The woman is absolute lunatic, isn't she? I mean, just see by the face. That is a woman with very, very low intelligence. Look at her, walking along. I'm holding a folder and trying to look important. Look at me with me smug half grin on. I really don't know what I'm doing. And I, I've got a terrible hairdresser. Anyway, Shona Robinson taking credit for UK government tax cuts despite hiking up income tax for thousands of Scots. The Scottish Government's Finance Secretary boasted to MSPs at Holyrood that only Scots making more than 100,000 would be paying more in income-based tax, not income tax, she can't say that, but failed to mention that Jeremy Hunt's national insurance contribution cut was the reason. Now, it's going to um, annoy her that they, this cut has come. It does annoy them. But she's trying to put this spin on it. Oh, well, it's, look, you're paying less tax now, blah, blah, blah. But imagine you hadn't put the tax up. Think how much better off people would be and how much money would go into the economy rather than going into the SNP government to spend on independence and ang sending Angus Fraser around the world. It's a joke. It truly is. Anyway, Shona Robinson has been accused of taking credit for the UK government's decision to cut national insurance. And, and this is a, I, I really am not against, I, I'm, I'm against, I do not cut national insurance. Better off either cutting income tax or raising the threshold. Raising the threshold would be better. Raising the threshold lifts more people actually out of tax entirely. And by that, I mean me. National insurance does nothing for me. National insurance does nothing for every pensioner. If he puts this through on national insurance, it means that every pensioner in Britain has been screwed. And that's a lot of people voting. He's going to lose the grey vote. And that's about a fifth of the population. How to alienate 20% of the population in one fell swoop, man. Anyway, uh, she was talking She was talking about this uh, during a, bit, a debate yesterday. And she said that... Uh, uh, only those on more than 100,000 will pay more in what she calls income-based taxes. Uh, but they'll pay a lot more in income tax, of course. Uh, but it doesn't. What, it's, what she's not highlighting, uh, and that needs to be highlighted, is the fact that the differential between England and Scotland remains the same. 
It's not as though, oh, look, we're, you're paying less now, which means you're getting closer to what England pays. No, no, no. That difference is still there. It's just that you've gone from England and Scotland to England and Scotland. The differential's the same. It's just shifted down a peg. But you're still paying more than England. Miss Robinson did not mention this during her Holyrood speech, not mentioning the fact that it was uh, Hunt, of course, and that there was no praise for Westminster when it happened. Instead, the UK government was accused of pushing austerity on Scots by using fiscal headroom to cut taxes instead of funding public services, as they put it. No, they are public. She, they live in a world of delusion. By cutting the 2% on the national insurance, um, it, it means nothing. It means nothing. If you are cutting public services, which you are, if you're Shona Robertson, you're doing so because you want to spend money elsewhere. Now, if you stop spending money on spin doctors, more of which later, by the way, if you want to spend, spend money on independence, which you do, if you want to spend money on pretendy embassies, which you do, then you spend it on those things. But you have to take it at the expense of infrastructure, of the NHS, of education, of communications, of, you know, social care. You've only got one pot of money and you're pissing in that pot. Anyway, uh, Humza Yousaf's first budget has been roundly con uh, condemned by businesses, charities and everybody. Uh, taxation formed a huge part of this criticism with the new taxes. I'm not going to go through the details, new taxes, high rates, etc. Because they are absolutely desperate for money. And this is what happens when you have a woman as stupid as her. And look, look at that face. There's a man who suddenly realised he's promoted her and realised what a moron she is. But now can't fire her because it will reflect on him and go... Yeah, but you hired her in the first place. You hired this moron. It makes you look bad, doesn't it? And he's like, yeah. So he's got to stick with the moron. He's got no options. So it is just, uh, it is just a laugh. Anyway, they've picked up, the Scottish Sun has picked up on, on what I've been saying. Uh, it's, uh, it reports that the use of the expression income-based taxes rather than income tax raised eyebrows, with the Scottish government later confirming that the 2p cut to national insurance contributions is worth a maximum of £754 annually. So the rise in income tax is offset by the NIC's cut for employees until you earn just about £100,000. It's all smoke and mirrors. It does nothing for the low paid because the low paid often don't pay national insurance, so it's bugger all to them. They'd be better off with a with a, an, a tax allowance increase. Uh, it does nothing for pensioners. It does nothing for people who are self-employed, effectively. It's a joke. This this income tax, uh, sorry, national insurance cut, it's pointless. It's a way of them saying, oh, look, you're paying less, you're paying less. But you're not. You're not. You're paying very little less. Um, but it, it, it's such a differential, such a small differential that only affects a certain sm small amount of people. But it's a way of him pointing out that he's got this cut. Um, but again, it's not a full cut. It's not a, f a cut that affects everyone. It's targeted cuts. And ironically, the people who it benefits the most are the well off. It was ever thus. Anyway, I shall stop there. Come up and finish off. But it is just a great case of Shona Robinson trying to spin something that she dislikes intensely. Coming up. But I did find it amusing when I read that piece last night where Flynn is trying to stop them cutting um, national insurance. And at the same time, you have Shona Robinson taking the credit for the cut in national insurance. One hand doesn't know what the other hand's doing. It is a party of imbeciles, isn't it? It's a party that does not have any idea in what direction it's going. Anyway, I shall stop there. Thank you very much for watching. Do hit the subscribe button, ring the bell, leave a like, leave a comment. Please share the video. And until next time, stay safe, stay well, and I will speak to you later. Bye.